If you expected Google to show off an actual, proper, physical new VR headset this year at Google I.O., well, today's announcements probably left you a little disappointed. There are a lot of big steps forward with regard to VR, though. Let's take a closer look. Everything kind of falls under the umbrella of what Google calls Daydream, its new VR platform. It starts with Android N, and more specifically, a VR mode for Android N. It dramatically reduces the amount of time between you moving your head and you seeing the action reflected on the phone screen hovering in front of your face. That helps keep you in the moment, keep you in this virtual world, and it's something that Google has had to conquer if they wanted to make VR on these phones a real deal. Now, even though Google didn't have a physical headset to show us, it did admit that it's working on a reference design for not only a VR headset, but also a physical controller, which kind of comes off as a bit of a Wiimote. Uh, does seem pretty cool. We can't tell you much about it because we have not touched it, but it does seem like the kind of thing that, if priced properly, could be a great gateway drug for people and virtual reality. On the hardware front, companies making phones compatible with Daydream include LG, Samsung, ZTE, Xiaomi, Alcatel, and more. We also have buy-in from companies like Netflix, Ubisoft, and Electronic Arts, who've committed to making apps and content specifically for Daydream-compatible devices. It'll be a while before we see the fruition of all of this work, but we are seeing Google take up arms against Facebook and Samsung and Oculus, companies that have really made VR what it is, and that's gotta be terribly exciting. We are living in the future, after all.